What's up YouTube, this is another Toys of Men review. And today we have for you the Armored Might Green Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, AKA Tommy. I was lucky enough to get this guy at a Toys R Us store, which I had to travel to. And when I got there, I was there initially to try to find the new Marvel Legends Wave sets, which I found the Captain America there. And I also happened to stumble upon the lady in the next aisle over uh, putting this this box out. Okay, so this is a one per box rare figure that is really really hard to get and I'm so happy I was there at the time they put it out because if not I wouldn't have one of these right now. I went ahead and traveled to two or three other Toys R Us's that day and uh, several Target stores was an, and, and a Kmart store and was very uh, optimistic about finding one but was unable there as well. They Most of the stores did have the two green Super Mega Force Ranger the red, I'm sorry, the red Mega Force Ranger, but they did not have any more of this green. So, initially, as we can see, the figure has very good posability, very, very nice collar. I'm digging the collar on this guy. There we go. Let's see if I can get you a pretty nice view here. Okay, so we can see the dagger has lots and lots of, of different kind of textures and things on it, and it does have the green on the outline by the blade. It also has the gold dragon coin. His gloves are textured as well on the outsides. The shield you can see back there, that shield just is phenomenal. That shield is fantastic. Here we have his gold morpher that does not have any specific emblems or logos around it but I'm okay with that and all the way down to the gold around the boots this figure is absolutely fantastic so happy to get my hands on this guy now I did bring you guys the white Mighty Morphin Power Ranger review as well so if you haven't seen that yet you need to check it out but as far as the collar goes the collar is absolutely 100 percent spot on to the actual figure that i had as a child and uh you know my my figure broke its arm broke off so i've kind of been i've kind of been antsy to get a figure that was that just reminded me of that figure, you know. I could go on eBay or I could go to any, you know, somewhere and try to find myself an original Green Ranger. But this one here offers so much more. Like I said, it comes with interchangeable hands, so you could, you know, switch them up or whatever you got to do. I myself like to have the open hand as a, you know, a trademark Power Ranger pose, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, the one thing that I do have a question about that I can't figure out quite frankly for myself, but if you guys know, or if yours is different, please comment and let me know. The Dragon Dagger, its peg is, is far back, and I, of course I'm assuming that is for the dragon, so we can actually play his Dragon Dagger in a flute pose, but... He has two peg holes on each side of his belt, and one, I don't know why they did both sides of the belt, and two, it doesn't fit. The peg hole on the dragon dagger, or the peg on the dragon dagger, is so much bigger than the actual peg holes on either side of the belt that they just don't fit. So I can't understand why they would even, why they would do that. That doesn't really make sense. So if, if your guys' figures are different, please let me know, but I can't understand that for myself. So... I'm going to give you a close-up here of this Dragon Dagger. You see here is Flute. And both sides actually have the, have the gold dragon coin. And both sides also have the green accents along the blades. You can see his Flute buttons uh, here. And the texture on this is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's kind of got texture everywhere. It's really nice. I'm a big fan of this. I just think it's really cool. Uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of big, I guess. Not really, not really that scale to this figure, but... Nonetheless, it's really cool. I think the Saba was done better with the White Ranger than the, the Dragon Dagger was done here with the Green Ranger. But, nonetheless, we'll move this to the side. Now, the shield. 
what an amazing i mean i just i'm just digging it they've got it to go all the way around which is so awesome all the detail this is all raised it looks so good it looks so nice in person the black is really really glossy as you can see here i got a nice a nice light shot on it right now for you and of course everything is raised off the shield it just looks absolutely fantastic i have not had any issues with the shield coming off whatsoever so i think that is pretty cool too uh... normally the shields are kind of a hassle on kind of figures like this but not this one but and with the head let's try to okay here we go with the head it looks spot on and they did the original green ranger head without the silver like the new super mega force is going to have so i don't know why they're doing that exactly but this one does not have it so i'm glad I also, my figure also has a pit in its mask, which is really unfortunate, so I'm, I'm actually going to pick up another one whenever I see one uh, for myself, because I, I just can't stand things like that on my figure. Uh, anyway, everything is super, super highly detailed. Everything is nice and raised here on the helmet. Super nice job. I mean, these are fantastic. I just hope they continue along and, and give us the rest of the original Rangers out of this. You know, we've already received Jason and both Tommies. It'd be nice to, to go ahead and get everybody. That would be really, really cool. But as for this guy, I mean, just absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just digging this guy all around. Super awesome skill, uh, detailed, super good paint apps. Uh, one other thing that I have to say that I don't really like about the figure is how giantly buff it is. Uh, you can see he's cut up pretty deep just about everywhere, legs and everything here. I, I kind of wish they would have scaled that down, but for a figure like this, I'm not going to complain about that because it's been a long time coming, you know, so we finally got a Green Ranger, in my opinion, that is is uh, is definitely worth talking about. Now, the figure arts Green Ranger is really, really nice as well as you guys know, but at a price point of $50 plus dollars, um, for a 4-inch or 4.5-inch figure, I'm not really, I'm not really too keen to the size of those. Now this guy here stands about seven and a half to eight inches tall, a nice big figure, and I think uh, the scaling on this guy is really nice. Also, the weight and uh, the weight on this guy is super good. Um, he, he, you know, there's some bulk to him. It's not a cheap. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It actually feels very very quality which I was happy about as well uh, the White Ranger is so cool and I've got these guys proudly displayed on my bookshelf in my in my man cave room because they're so awesome so as far as that goes um, this has been my review on the new armored green Ranger one per box rare of course and if you can find this guy you gotta pick him up so awesome I mean, this guy is absolutely fantastic. So, I'd also like to bring you guys' attention that we would love to have you check out our website, toysandmen.net. And there you will find links to our podcasts and other things. We do write-ups and reviews on comics and movies and just about anything you can think of. So if you would, really go check that out. Like and subscribe. And as for Tommy... And myself, out.